There have been tributes to the award-winning BBC presenter Diane Oxbury, who has died at the age of 51 after a short illness. She worked on Radio 1 alongside Simon Mayo and Steve Wright, and for more than 20 years, she was the weather presenter for BBC Northwest Tonight, while well, her colleague Dave Guest looks back at her life. Weather fronts will be starting to get toward us. The weather presenters must remain cool and calm, whatever's thrown at them. And Dan Oxbury was the coolest of them all. This might be the one that you like. <laughs> you can see that the warm air is moving out of the way and the cool air... This is the comedian Peter Kay making an unexpected appearance during one of her forecasts on the BBC's Northwest Tonight programme. God, God love Diane Oxbury. God love her. Ooh, you've made it sunshine I have made for everybody. It for once. She just had such a great rapport with the public and they loved her. Everywhere you went, people would say, Is Di coming? Where's Di? Diane Oxbury began her broadcasting career with Steve Wright on Radio 1 and she was a member of Simon Mayo's posse on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. There was a spark in the studio when she was there, you know, and. Uh, and I think everyone is very devastated the fact that she's gone. She switched to TV in the early 90s, presenting the Saturday morning children's show, The 8.15 from Manchester. Now I'm joined by Mark and Gary from Take That, who are going to help But she didn't only meet the fledgling Take That on the show, she also met her future husband, Ian, a cameraman on The 8.15. She joined Northwest Tonight in 1994. Here for the first time is Diane Oxbury. Yes, I'm going to be here tonight and every night this week bringing you a detailed weather forecast. In fact, she was to become a regular face on the show for almost a quarter of a century and a welcome visitor to so many living rooms. Yeah, it is. But Diane Oxbury didn't just do the weather. She was often to be found trying a hand at so many other roles too. Her warmth, energy and down-to-earth nature made viewers and listeners see Diane as a friend, even if they'd never met her. They'll miss her. But so too will those of us who did know her and considered her a friend as well as a colleague. Diane Oxbury, who's died at the age of 51.